Hey YouTube, what's going on? Today's Sunday, so I'm hanging out, uh, and I figured I'd come out into the garage today. I got a few things I want to do. Um, I got to charge up the battery on the uh, Cadillac. Gonna take the wife um, and the, and some of the other family to the airport tomorrow, so I got to get that charged up. So I'm gonna throw my uh, my battery tender from the vet over to the Cadillac and charge that up. But I came out here too. Uh, I figured I might as well uh, post a video. Because I wanted to actually thank um, all of my subscribers and everyone who's been viewing the videos. Overnight, my subscribers actually doubled, so I'm super excited. So I figured I'd take this time to come out in the garage and show you guys what's actually coming up um, in the near future and in the far future for the vet. Um, so today I went on Amazon and actually ordered a couple of things that are going to help me get going um, on the header project so that you guys can see that sooner rather than later. I know I've been talking about it for weeks now and uh, that was one of the things I plan to do this winter. Uh, so uh, on Amazon, I'll show you a picture of it too. I just ordered, because uh, I was going to get a lift at first, a two post lift to bring the car up and it'll work in a nine foot ceiling. Uh, well, there is one that works in a nine foot ceiling, but of course, you know, money wise, it's not something I think I need to or feel like I can grab right now. So we're gonna use um, 12 inch tire cradles made from race ramps. I'll show you a picture right now. So those are gonna help me get the car up 12 inches up off the ground. Um, and I think it'll be comfortable to do the header work. And I'll also be replacing the tunnel plate with the insulated plate that I have now which will increase the uh, rigidity um, and also keep the, some of the heat out of that center console. Um, the other thing that I just ordered on Amazon, and I'll show you a picture now, those hockey pucks I'm actually going to use as jacking pucks on my jack stand. And it's going to stop me from having to use, I've been using little blocks of wood and blocks that I've cut and stuff like that. Uh, but I've been meaning to, to get those uh, hockey pucks to use as jacking pucks for a while now. And uh, how can you go wrong on Amazon? You can get a dozen hockey pucks for 19 bucks shipped to you in two days. Hey, Amazon. So basically, the second that both those things arrive, I'm going to get the car lifted up. Uh, and I'm going to right away, I'm going to start working on the headers. Uh, and I'm not really going to worry about the baseline dyno. Um, if the, if I see that there's not a lot of salt on the roads, maybe I'll take it out and, uh, with the HP tuner scanner and I'll actually, um, you know, uh, record some, uh, street time, you know, on the original tune and then obviously download the original tune so that I can keep that safe. So you guys are actually motivating me to get going on this stuff. And, uh, I want to make a promise to you guys now that you've subscribed uh, and make and make a promise to give you some great content, some stuff you came to see uh, by by getting rolling on these projects and showing you guys that are interested. So what else is coming up in the uh, near future? Um, hopefully in about a week is we took the truck down to Modified Mechanics in uh, Sagamore, and they've got a Mustang Dyno. Uh, we threw it on the Mustang Dyno. I do have one more visit, but uh, here's a preview of the first visit, just to give you a little teaser. We do have one more visit um, down there uh, to throw it on to complete um, what I want to do to get a baseline on the uh, truck. So once that's complete, I'll uh, I'll compile all the video and, and give you guys a video of that. So that should be cool. The other thing that I'm hoping to start on this week is, um, and I mentioned in a couple of previous videos, is a laptop stand for while I'm sitting in the car uh, to make it comfortable for tuning and logging. And I had probably mentioned prior that I had found online a gentleman and I'll, uh, I'll post a link to his stuff because I am going to give him all the credit for this is out of two inch PVC pipe, a laptop stand. So I'm hoping to start that 
and I'll gear it so that it'll work in the cup holders in both the Corvette and the truck. Uh, so hopefully you'll see that start soon. So what else do I think is out there for the not so near future, but like, uh, you know, still maybe within the year, maybe hopefully within the, uh, the driving season. So before, um, before the end of the summer, 2017 is I want to dress up the LS three. I think when you open up the hood, the LS three is a beautiful, beautiful engine, but this, you know, left in its stock form, it looks just like every other LS3. When you go to the car show, everyone, it's sometimes people don't even bother opening the hood because they all look the same. You know, they got the fuel rail covers that all say Corvette, everything's nice and clean. Yeah, whoopee ding. So what I want to start doing is um, I'm looking at taking those fuel rail covers off, possibly replacing the intake with a fast uh, 102 intake. And then uh, I don't like the stock fuel rails and how they have a crossover tube going over the stock intake. Um, I want to get a set of Aeromotive uh, fuel rails in red anodized, which I think looks absolutely awesome. Uh, and then kind of play around with maybe relocating the coils. Um, I like, you know, how the coils are. It gives them short wires and uh, they obviously, that obviously that's good for performance. You don't want these long wires. They probably have proven that the shorter wires, um, you know, are, are better for the car and better for performance. But I'm thinking about taking a set of relocation brackets that um, get from maybe like a, maybe Proline or, uh, or I should say Proform. They make the aftermarket valve covers and, and, and probably moving them up in between, like almost just between or a side of the fuel rails so that you can see more of the valve cover. And I think the, the engine will look a whole lot better at that point. So that's kind of my plans for dressing up the LS3. Uh, other than that, it's an amazing motor. And, uh, So I think that'll do it for now. Uh, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a little teaser on uh, what's up and coming and why you should keep following me. Um, so if you like this stuff, uh, hit like. Be sure to hit like. I'd love to have more subscribers. And uh, as always, there's a little bell over there. If you guys want to click that, you'll get an alert every time I post a video. Uh, and before I go out, I just want to say go Patriots. Patriots and Falcons tonight in the Super Bowl. Uh, so... Woo! Go Patriots!